of Jack Charlton, the club enjoyed first a revival and then promotion, only to be followed by frustration. Howard Wilkinson, back at the club for whom he once played, has succeeded where Jack failed. But elation is tempered with caution about what lies ahead. When we started last July, if you'd have said to me, will you settle for promotion and nothing else, six games from the end of the season, I think I and uh, Peter, Alan, the chairman, the board, the spectators that have turned up week in, week out, I think they would have said yes. Well, it's got to be said, Jackie Charlton did a good job for Sheffield Wednesday. Jack's a good lad. But Howard has built on that and he's brought his own players in. Yes, he has. He spent more than £460,000 on new players and did well with them. And you saw this season the result of a hell of a lot of hard work by Howard Wilkinson, Peter Eustace and not least Alan Smith. Basically what it means is that next season we go to Old Trafford, we go to Anfield, we go to Goodison Park, we go to Highbury and they come here. So the players here and myself and the coaches here and the directors here have got a chance to compete with the best. Um, we've competed with the best in the second division and I think we've come out on top. But we've got to prove it next Saturday. Now we've got a chance, myself, the players, because none of us here are first division yet. We're in the first division. But now we've got to prove that we're good enough for it. You know, the fact that you start there on the fixture list next August, that don't mean no. You're just uh, beginning in a way, aren't uh, you? You're just starting. So uh, if we're disappointed today, <laughs> then uh, my experience at Knotts has taught me that uh, we ought to get over it pretty quickly because uh, the more good feeling you build up inside yourself, uh, the more chance you've got to survive in uh, the battle next season. Sheffield people have been wanting success for a long time. They've suffered, have people in Sheffield. Yes, they want success in the first division. We can't promise them championship, but we'll promise them good results. A time to take stock a time to build. We're not impatient in the sense that we would go out and think we could buy million pound players and pay 2,000 pound a week wages. That is a nonsense that is beating football. We want Sheffield people to enjoy Sheffield football at prices they can afford to pay at their turnstiles. Talking of Sheffield people, I wonder if you could just look across the city to Bramall Lane. I mean, are you yeah. hoping that they go up to the second division on Saturday? We, we want them in the second division when we're in the first. We want them in the first division with us in the first. That means we've got 250,000 gates at Hillsborough and Bramall Lane. This is a big city with a lot of football supporters in it. I want to 